Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Sephora Loveless Declutter. I was trying to think of the word, gosh. I was like, what is that called again? That thing where I heart stuff? <laughs> anyway, this video is long overdue. There's so much crap in my cart and I just wanna clean it up so I can move on with my life. I do kinda wanna place a Sephora order. Um, there's a thing, few things I have my eye on, but nothing like that I'm in desperate need of where I need to place an order. And I'm trying to do this thing where I don't just buy everything that I see, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and declutter away. So I've really been into milk makeup, so these two products are on my list. I have a lip and cheek in Perk Coral, because I love corally things, but I really don't need it. And I also have the Milk Matte Bronzer on here, because I just feel like it'd be so fun to go like shh, 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 shh. Ta-da! Bronzer, you know? So yeah, I kind of got my eye on those. I did see that the Marc Jacob Beauty Air Blush Soft Glow Duos were on sale in store. I saw somebody show that on like Instagram Live, and so I've always wanted the coral one, but I don't think I'd buy it. I'm just, I just have it in my list, just in case it goes on sale online. I'll pick it up there. I also have the Pat McGrath Labs Powder, Foundation, and Primer on my loves list. I was waiting for those to come in stock. I was definitely gonna buy them on Sephora, but then Pat McGrath had to deal with those three items as well as the two brushes. So I just decided to purchase on Pat McGrath's website instead. So those don't need to be on my list anymore. I also have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. I am gonna take that off my list because I actually saw the product in Ulta and it wasn't that impressive. I think I heard Teresa's dead mention that the bottle was like a plastic and it looks like glass in the pictures. I didn't realize it was plastic. So it's like kind of cheap looking. I'm more excited to try the Pat McGrath foundation. So just gonna pass on that, won't be buying that. So I'm gonna remove that. Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer sounds good. I'm always on the hunt for anything that's moisturizing and hydrating that's a toner would be handy because I don't really have a toner right now that I love, so that would be nice. I've heard so many good things about this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine, fine Mist. Everyone's obsessed with the mist itself because it's supposed to be like a fine mist. And so I low-key, high-key want to try it, but... I'm trying to be good right now because I have so many setting sprays that I need to get through. I've got this Herbivore Bacuchilo Retinol Alternative Soothing Serum for $54. I have the Herbivore, where is it? Let me show it to you. It's this guy. The Herbivore Emerald 100 milligram CBD Deep Moisture Glow Oil. And I like this. I thought, hey, why not another oil from them? But I won't be getting that. I'm gonna take that off my list. I added the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Insta Retouch Setting Powder because I got a sample of it that I had been trying. Um, so here's the sample, and I like it. It's really good, but now again, I just bought the Pat McGrath powder, so I don't need that, so I'm gonna be taking that off my list. I really, really want this. I swatched these when I was hanging out with Miss Angelica. The Ciate Marble Metals Eyeshadows, this shade Twisted Green is insane. It's like a black base with tons of green glitter flex and it's beautiful it's $24 so I've kind of been on the fence about it because I really don't pick up single pot shadows and then I really wanted the melt cosmetics digital dust highlighter and I did actually end up getting it in the shade Genesis I didn't want to buy it on melts website so I waited until it came to Sephora and it's beautiful and delicious and it's like a peachy gold situation that I need to put on my face and show you guys. I also have this Kitsich Justin Marjan Rhinestone Glam Bobby Pin. One of these bobby pins is $29 and I couldn't find them anywhere so I put them on my list for Sephora. But then a local store here in Fargo had these and it just says yes and no and they were like under $10, so I just scooped that set up, so I'm gonna be taking that off my loves list. I have a few more Melt products. I have two other digital dust highlighters in the shade uh, Stargazer Soft Nude Champagne and then Cor uh, Pink Moon, which is a lavish rose. Both of those are beautiful, but again, those are so pricey, they're $39. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off my list because I have the one I really wanted, which was Genesis. 
And then I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution, again, because I'm always on the hunt for a new toner. And then I have the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner for $32. That is my favorite liquid eyeliner pen. It is $32, so I'm like waiting again to order it because I don't really need it, but I know like my one that I currently have is like hanging on by a thread. But that has been so good to me for so long. It's shocking how well that thing lasts. I really, really want the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil Highlighter. This is $38. It's been out for a while, and I just feel like it would be such a fun like put shimmer everywhere kind of product. But again, I don't need it, so I haven't bought it yet, but it's on my list. I should just take it off, but I added the Briogeo Banana Coconut Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner Set for $48. I don't think I'll get that. It's so hard for me to find a shampoo I like. I have very oily hair, very greasy hair, so pretty much anything that's like nutritious and hydrating or anything that anything to help nutrients nutrition my hair makes it really greasy so I stay away from a lot of that. Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in the color Glowing Gen which is a soft rose is just so pretty I just want it and the packaging but it's $37 so I don't wear bullet lipsticks enough to justify that price point. I also added the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation based off of Annette's Makeup Corners recommendation. She loves that foundation and she said I should try it so I put it on my list of things to buy someday. Uh, Marc Jacobs Beauty Mega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan in the shade Tantalize Warm. This is a deeper shade of their existing tantalizer bronzer so I'm excited that he came out with another shade because it's 2019 Marc Jacobs it's about time but I don't think I'll buy it it's like a really big product and I have so many bronzers to get through I don't need to add more the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards eyeshadow palette I bought that I should take that off tan lines by Jouer Cosmetics it's a beautiful palette but I saw my friend hot mess Ness Vanessa here on YouTube Haul that and play with it and I wasn't very impressed so I'm gonna take that off my list let it be rainbow eye set this is kind of like their rainbow palette that they came out with for pride month and even though it's cute I don't need it I have their icy bitch palette that they finally launched and I haven't even like featured that in a YouTube video so clearly I don't need more more tart things um, youth of the people limited edition pride superfood antioxidant cleanser this is one of the cleansers I currently use for my morning cleanse and so I thought it would be so fun to just have like the pride edition but realistically like it's not something I need right now and I've been trying out a few other cleansers as well so I'm really well stocked on cleansers so I can take that off my list Natasha Denona tan bronzer and glow palette this one really caught my eye but I did see it in person when I was hanging out with Angie at the Sephora store and it wasn't that impressive so I'm gonna take that off my list fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash that just sounds delicious so it's on my list and then I've always wanted a Jouer blush bouquet and they're $30 so I just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money on blush I have so many beautiful blushes the drugstore is a great place to find blush like the flower beauty ones I'm wearing a Milani baked blush today in the shade I can't remember but yeah there's so many good ones at the drugstore I can't bring myself to buy one from Jouer. So the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in the shade 002 Glitz. I actually already bought this so I can take that off my list. I have the Melt Gemini Eyeshadow Palette. I'm a little bit freaked out by the whole mold thing so even it, and it's out of stock so I'm good. I have so many like grungy green olive tone eyeshadows now so I'm gonna take that off my list. I have the Hourglass Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss in the shade Dusk Deep Mauve. $30. Honestly, I haven't heard anyone really talk about it and I would rather buy a Pat McGrath gloss if I really had to pick so passing on that. And then the last item I have on here is the La Mer lip balm. So $65. I thought, hey, you know, someday maybe I'll treat myself to the La Mer lip balm. But that day is not here and I still have plenty of lip balm to get through. Keep me going for like a few more years, I think, if I'll need any lip balm. So I'm going to pass on that as well. So that is everything for what's on my loves list and 
uh, what I'm taking off my loves list because I don't need it. Some of this stuff I'm just gonna hold off on until the time is right to make that purchase from Sephora. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what products you're eyeing on Sephora. I love hearing from you guys, so leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.